what happened during COVID is fairly unique in American history in terms of the way it, it, it manifested. That is the way in which money got into our hands. And as a consequence, it's probably the cleanest example of inflation cause and effect that I think you will ever see in America because, well, unless we get a repetition, but it really is different. It really is different. So in 2020, in the first stimulus act of, of, of Trump, and then in 2021, with Biden, January 2021, the big stimulus act then, individuals and businesses basically got checks from the government. They literally got a check. Now, so we all became richer. Suddenly we had money we didn't have before. We all got a check from someone. And because businesses were also giving us, we also got checks, which were used to pay our salaries. It's not like our salaries went like this and we got some money from the government. We got our salary and we got money from the government. So, now where did this money come from? Now, if the money had just come from, we're cutting other government spending. We're going to cut other government spending. We're going to take what we save from cutting those other government spending, and we're going to issue checks to people. Then it wouldn't have been inflationary in terms of rising prices. Because you would have just shifted consumption from one area, government spending on I don't know, uh, uh, digging ditches and, 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 and filling them in. And instead, you're now giving money to people and they're going out and spending them. The, di the ditch diggers would have got that money and spent it anyway. So either way, the money would have come into the economy. The difference here is that they didn't cut in order to give us the money. And another way they could have done it is they could have just borrowed it from people. Now, again, if you borrow it, you're basically taking it from one pocket and putting it into another pocket. So you're taking money from the people who are buying your bonds, dollars from the people who are buying your bonds. This is people lending money to the government. That's what borrowing it means. People lend money to the government. But if they hadn't lent the money to the government, they would have done something else with it. They would have invested it. They would have consumed it. They would have done something with it. The money would have been in the economy. It would have been circulating. But what is different about what happened both in 2020 and 2021 is that they borrowed, they basically borrowed this money from the Federal Reserve, which means the Treasury issued bonds to the Fed and got dollars directly to give to all of us. It's a pure example of a massive increase in the money supply without an intermediary, i.e. the banks. So the Treasury got the money from the Fed. The Treasury, uh, I mean, the Fed got bonds. But those bonds, it, you know, it's, it's, it, the Fed is a government agency, so it, it, it doesn't matter. It's just a, a bookkeeping entry, right? And then the, um, and then the, um, the government sent us checks. So we all became richer during COVID. And with this excess amount, extra money, we went buying, we went spending. And as a consequence of that spending, we bid up prices of things. Now, it happened that certain things at the time were also constrained. That is because people were working less, even though we were still getting a salary and they were still getting government money. Less stuff was being produced. There was less trade globally. So there was this stuff and lots of people trying to go in to buy stuff and the price of stuff went up. But even when the amount of stuff returned to normal, people still had more money in their pockets. And as a consequence, prices continue to go up. Now, I would argue that it was inevitable that 
you know, inflation as this annual increase from year to year of was come, going to come down. Why was it inevitable? Because the government basically did this as a kind of a one-off. They distributed money to all of us, and then they stopped. And once we all went out there into the marketplace and this money got circulating into the marketplace and bid up all the prices of all the goods, there was no more money coming in to drive up inflation even further. At least this particular you know, mechanism was gone. Now, you know, government continues to spend like a drunken so so sailor. Um, it, you know, the, the Federal Reserve could monetize all that at any point in time. That is, it could start buying a huge amount of debt, a huge number of those bonds, particularly if other people in the marketplace don't want to buy those bonds. Um, and as a consequence, flood the market again with money and inflation could p pick up again. But just that one injection of all that money in 2020, 2021, resulted in a spike of prices, and then you'd expect prices to stay stable after that. 